Uh, this is just a demonstration on using a, a Jackson uh, 636 tester. We're going to test a 6AK5 valve. Uh, first of all, I'm going to switch the tester on. I'm just going to adjust the line control there so it's showing in the middle. Just to ensure that we get the 6.3 volt filament bolt uh, correctly applied. I'm just going to follow the chart now. So for the 6AK5, it's 6.3 volts. It's on the uh, the special test is actually uh, switched to normal because we're just going to do a normal test, and the plate is going to be on forty one, and that's all we do for now. We we'll have to make sure all these buttons are released at the bottom here because we're just going to look for shorts or leakages. So we insert the valve now. We just check the line voltage again, and that's okay. Now, to check for shorts or leakages on this test, it's very simple. We just move this circuit control around. We're just going to look here for any glow on the neon lamp. If it does, it's a short or a leak. It actually tells us it's going to glow at four, five, and six, which is there. Okay, so it's glowing there on number five, so that's okay. It's not a short or leakage, it's just continuity. And six, glowing again. Seven, eight, and nine, that's okay. So there's no shorts or leakages on the tube. Six again, five again glowing, that's okay. Now to do the actual test, we're gonna uh, use these buttons. And when we press number L, M, and to do the actual test, it's gonna be R, but the circuit has to be on circuit two, which is on circuit two now. So now we can go ahead and do the quality test. And for that, once again, we're pressing button R. As you can see, that's okay. This is a used tube and it's showing in the, in the good. Uh, this is a, a 6AK5 6AK valve and it's actually got a special socket which I've, I've put in for it uh, following the technical bulletin from uh, Jackson. It's called the X socket. It tells you on the chart when to use it. If you actually put it in the other 7 pin valve by mistake, all that's going to happen. That's actually starting to glow again, so you know it's in the wrong socket and it's not in the X socket. So, thanks for watching. Bye bye.